Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I am back out at the location near Jericho where I found some nice agates, especially that plume agate. And here right off the bat, I found one just sitting on the ground in the road. Just a nice little colorless kind of agate slash chalcedony. The thing is, is some of it has band, some of these have banding in them, some of them don't. So some of them are more of an agate, some are more chalcedony, but mostly they're just colorless sometimes some white banding in them so those are pretty neat they're worth coming out here to rock count for but the big thing is that plume maggot we're trying to find so tim's already out there searching and hopefully today we're going to try and spend as much time out here as we can because we want to find where the plume agate is coming from so we're down in the wash we weren't finding much on the hillside so it's possible that there's better stuff further down or that this is really where it's coming out of. Um, found some nice colorless. We've already picked up several pieces of the colorless. But yeah, I'm seeing a couple pieces of it here and there. So at least we've got that. Cross our fingers, we can actually find the plume maggot. Another decent looking piece. Looks like it's got some calcium in it as well. Nice. Here's this one uh, cut open. Nice. Got some banding in it, some inclusions. Nice. Looks pretty cool. So Tim just found this. It looks like it might be some opal. It's kind of light and it's got that look of opal. But right here, there seems to be some texture. This could be a piece of opalized wood. It's really hard to tell. That texture could be something else but either way just the fact that he found a piece that's opal is exciting there's a couple pieces right next to each other nice i still have the macro lens on but tim said he found something oh 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 look at that agate that is beautiful it's got yellow on the edge white in the middle oh this is gonna look beautiful we're gonna cut this thing open oh i'm excited for this piece here's this one i've been looking forward to this one unfortunately it did have a fracture on one side that broke a little bit but oh yes look at that look at that on the inside that's nice. So I saw that one. That was pretty obvious. Nice. And I saw another one over here. Yes, there it is. Just kind of poking out the wall right there. Not bad. The other one was better, but oh, there you go. not bad. That's Sounds like Tim's got one. We'll see what Tim's got. Tim just found that one in the area I was just searching. I one. completely missed that. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. and, and a little one. Little one. And here's this one cut open. That looks real nice. Look at the banding in that. See, now that's a good agate. Just saw that up on the side right there. Look at that thing. Nice big monster. Mm, looks like it's mostly just Chalcedony. I'm not really seeing any bands in it. But this one broke up a bit when I was trying to cut it. Hey, it's got some stuff in there. A little bit over there. But mostly that side. All right, Tim found something really nice in the stream right here. Look at the size of that one. Uh, that is basically a big chunk of chalcedo chalcedony. So we got chalcedony, and there's a little pocket in here that's got some quartz crystals. There's a, it's but tiny, yeah, but there's a, a yellow one. Chunk of chalcedony. Oh, we found a little yellow one again? Yep. Okay, a little tiny bit that's got some yellow in it, yep. And here's this one cut open. So it looks like on that side. There you go. Yeah, a lot of these are just Chalcedony with maybe 
a hint of banding in different places, occasionally some inclusions. So I just found that piece. It's kind of just like a, a layer of it. Not really see any banding, but it's a decent size. So Tim told me to turn it back on and he's being quiet, which usually means he found something good. What did he find? Ooh, ooh. That is a nice layer of agate. And we're gonna cut that thing down the middle and see what it offers, because this love that could yellow. be cool. You got a little yellow there. You got some yellow along the edges. Yeah, it could make a cool design like an actual You could get moss. some moss in there and maybe have a cool like ocean seascape look. Yeah. So this is, is a, this is definitely, well, I'm gonna say most likely the best piece we've found so far today. Here's this one. I've been waiting to see how this one looks. And here it is cut. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got some stuff on the side here. It looked kind of like some, some plume going into there a little bit. Oh, but I can see so much potential in there. I think, I think eventually I want to slowly grind this one down to try and expose. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some stuff with this. This looks nice though. So I picked this piece up going, oh, it's a nice white and colorless. And then I flipped it and, oh my goodness, there's moss right there, right on the end. Okay. So you can get moss in the color, in and around the colorless stuff. Oh uh, yeah. And cut it and look at that. Got a little bit of moss in there. So right here in this little side wash coming down, found this nice little piece of Jasper. It's actually kind of a nice like mahogany color. There's little patterns in it. Pretty cool. Tim just found another big one. Look at that. That'll be a fun one to cut. Cut this. The other side broke, but look at that. You've got some green there. And it looks like it's almost growing in a crystal pattern. If I were to guess, I'd say probably epidote. So I just picked this one up. It's got a nice pocket right here that's got some quartz on it. Got a little bit of yellow going through it white right on the edge that's a decent decent little agate there just pulled that one out that's nice it's got a cool pocket right there it's so pretty i don't really see any banding so it's mostly just chalcedony but Boo. there might be some little bands in it no banding a little confused. so i just found this i think it's a little shard of petrified wood so just like Tim found that other piece that might be, I think there is petrified wood around here. Just saw this on the edge. It looks like it might have a hint of blue in it. I don't know. Can you wash that off, Tim? No, let the, let the young buck wash stuff off. Exactly. It's got green on the outside. It's got some green. That might just be from lichen growing on it, but sometimes. Mm, no. Sometimes. I don't see the blue. Okay, it was probably just the way it was sitting in there then. Still. That's a nice piece. It's a nice piece. That'll be a great one for cutting. Okay, so Tim just uncovered this one right there. It looks like it's nice and big, so he's going to pop that out. Not bad. That's a good size. Ooh, and it's got look, banding. At those, look at all the crystals in there. Yeah, and it's got banding on the ends. So this will be a good one to cut. Nice, Tim. Just found this one. It's got some nice botch riddle. Cut Sydney on the top. And you got a little bit of banding in the agate. Not bad. So Tim just found the biggest one of the hunt. It was right there. Tim, what did you find? Dang, got a pocket there. It's got a little bit of crystal in it. You can see the crystal quartz forming in the center here. That's a chunk. Okay, that's the biggest piece we've found either today or the last time I was here. Well done, Tim. Tim just found his big one over there and right over here I found this one. Look at that. Nice. Cute. Another need, nice need, one to cut. You need two of those to make mine. No, I probably actually need about three of these to make oh, yours. Oh, yeah, sorry, three of them. Cut open. 
I was worried that if I cut it this way, I'd lose the banding, so I cut it this way. Nice. Looks pretty good. Right after finding that piece, I found this nice little piece of jasper. Look at that. Be nice to find a big one like that, wouldn't it? Just found this. It's little layers of agate all through it. This is crazy. I'm going to definitely have to cut this. And so this one that I found, I'm excited for. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yes. Looks like it's a bunch of broken pieces of volcanic rock with agate going all through it. That is really cool. Just found this piece. Oh, it's some nice yellow banded agate. Really nice. More of that, please. Here's this piece cut open. It's pretty nice. Got some banding in there. It's a decent looking agate. Just saw this. Looks like some agate. A little bit of red rind to it. Ooh, nice. It's got some nice banding in it. Yeah, that should be real nice. We'll cut that up. Cut open. Oh, very nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's some nice banding. Some, I guess some pluming maybe up there. I don't know, pretty cool though. So here I am. This is basically as far as I came the other day. And I found this right, probably right after where I finished. Cut open. Not too bad, we've got some stuff going on here. Bet if I grind down into this further, we'll get some more cool things going on. So here's the little road that comes down. That's where I had started last time. So this is all unsearched ground. This. And I have right here. Well, that's a nice Looks piece. Looks like a decent piece. I just found that little thing. Ooh, yeah, it's found some nice botryoidal chalcedony. Ooh, that's a nice little thing going on. We've got some nice uh, agate maybe. right here. Nice. So I just found this. Nice piece of red jasper. A cow died here some time ago. There's the skull. So we've been searching quite a bit, actually. We've been quite a bit down here. As we've come further down, it's kind of gotten less and less. So I'm feeling like we're getting away from the actual zone. So it was up there. So what I think we'll do now is we're going to go up and over the road and back down the other side and check the other wash. So I just found this little piece. Look how red that is. It's like a carnelian almost could be just another thing to add to the list of things we've found here very small can we find a big one that's the question as we're heading up to the road tim found this nice piece look at that it's a nice agate nice stuff looks like it's even got a little bit of moss going on at the bottom good find i decided to take this piece and try and grind one side unfortunately a piece of it broke off but that's what it looks like inside very nice. We're up on the road now. And look at that. Maybe we just need to search the road. That's beautiful. It's a good piece. This one I was looking forward to. Here we go. Oh, oh, that's nice. Banding. A little bit of stuff going on there small pocket in it nice piece we're back in the main wash we're gonna head up this way toward the road but look at this that i just came across oh that's beautiful that might have plumes in it i'm gonna have to really think about how to cut that one that is beautiful though that's gonna be great and this one's too big to cut right now I'll have to cut it later when I have a bigger saw, but look at it. It's amazing. It's got a blue tint to it. So if you get good enough pieces out there, you can get a blue tint. Just found that one. We decided on the way back to the car, we'd go up from the riverbed and just kind of follow the edge of the hill. And yeah, the stuff just kind of seems to be coming out here and there all around. I ended up cutting it twice because look at that. Isn't that awesome? And so I cut it again, and look at that. 
Oh, isn't that beautiful? This is a great agate. Just found this one with some really nice banding in it. That's a good piece. Maybe there's more around here. Made it back to the vehicle. We got all our stuff packed up. It turned out to be a pretty good day. We found some really good agates and the yellow ones I'm excited about and some cool potentials. You've probably, you have already seen everything cut. I haven't yet, but I'm excited to see it. And it was a good day. You guys know where it's at now. And if I haven't yet, I'll put the GPS coordinates here of where we parked. But you also have the GPS coordinates from the previous time I went out, came out here. Anyway, we're a little tired. We've been hiking all over the place. Remember, there is treasure everywhere.